In this demo, I'll be showcasing some of the newer capabilities that we are bringing in for rogue management on 2.1.2 release on Cisco DNA Center. So let's get into the rogue management dashboard here. And let's do time travel to see more threads. So the changes that we have brought in in the 2.1.2 release is we added more signatures to AVIPs. That is one of the capability. You can see uh, some of the uh, AVIP signatures that we already uh, brought in. And uh, you can also see the threat 360 page that is similar to the rogues that we have already. You will see all the details that we support along with the locationing capability. So we, we support DNA spaces as well. Once you have the integration in place, you will see the precise location of the threat on uh, the rogue management threat 360 page. Now getting into the other capabilities that we have is let's get into one other feature where we brought in manual containment. Now you can go ahead and do manual containment of the rogue threats. And once you do this, automatically we give you uh, the list of rogue BSS IDs that we can go ahead and contain. And let me showcase the other capability uh, called allowed list. So there is a guided workflow for that. So let's get into workflows and then uh, click on setup rogue management and AWIPS. And if you come here, you can see that there is a guided workflow for allowed access points. So here is where if you have your neighbor access points, which you're already aware about, and if you want to add those access points uh, to uh, the allowed list so that it won't be uh, classified as threats. It will be classified as friendly APs. You can straight away do that using this guided workflow. You can import the CSV file with all the MAC addresses and automatically it gets added. The other way to do it is you can do that directly from the threat 360 page as well. Let me get into Rogan AWIPS. And let me get into one other thread here. There's an option that shows up under the thread 360 page. You can add this AP, uh, uh, this thread directly to the allowed list, and then it gets added directly. And let me also showcase some reporting cap capabilities that we brought in in the latest release. We brought in two new reports under Rogan ABIPS. One is new threat and threat detail. So this is the sample report of what we support today for the rogue and AWIPS. And similarly, you have uh, the sample report for the threat detail as well. And finally, let me cover the newer capabilities around APIs. So if you get into platform, if you get into manage, you will see bundles here. You need to have the Rogan AWIPS bundle enabled. And once you get into contents, you will see the APIs here. You will see threat summary, threat detail count, threat details. You can click on the threat summary and then you can do try it. And then uh, you can do this and you will see the response straight away from the APIs. So we've had some customers basically leveraging these APIs and integrating them uh, on this Splunk where they can create their own dashboards. They can do polling of API APIs on a regular interval and then they can create their own dashboards. So that's all I have for the demo. Thanks for watching.